<laughs> hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to being two episodes three and four of a Tony Monogatari. So let's go ahead and get started with episode three and three, two, one, go. <sighs> Feels like forever since I've watched the show, even though I just did the last week, but still. Bahada, what were you doing? <laughs> well, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it was more of Sheenable, <laughs> like, kicked his ass and, like, yeah, we're just gonna put him downstairs. You are not a fool. It's not just hopped down. Hello. I think so. Are you about to cry, puppy? Come here. It's okay. Got my hair on it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boo-boo, it is all over your face. We've all known for the longest time. Hey, Hanukkah would told him already about how she felt. You technically need to tell him as well, even though he's going to say the same thing that he said about Nicola. I mean, but it's the right thing. Do I think she's going to say to him? Probably not. But, I mean, these are the last two episodes of this thing. Of, well, Ulta Monogatari. So, hopefully, she says something. Ugh. Okay, you gotta go back on my bed now. I'm sorry. I love you. Uh-huh. 
Mm -hmm. See, there you go. See, it, it would have been better if Hagaragi would have said it. I'm just saying. Not his sister, because, I mean, when you hear from your friend who is related to the guy that you like, has a girlfriend, you know, even though it is true, you still want to know. You'd be like, no, 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 no. Let me ask, though. You still want to try? And then typically when the boy tells you, you're just like, okay. You smile, but then inside you're just crying so much. You're like, damn it! It happens to all of us. Yeah. Whether it's boys or girls. <laughs> All right. Okay. This girl better get some fucking closure. I mean, honey, I will got it. You need it. I know, and the saddest thing is we haven't seen Best Girl in a long behind time. I mean, Jesus, like, it, it feels so weird. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, you could still be in love with him, but at the same time, you know, just know that he won't reciprocate your feelings because he is with best girl. Just saying. It's the same thing I said about Hanakawa. Mm -hmm. I should just idolize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Could you probably say, yeah, I'm in love with someone else.
no, you are allowed. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I don't think you would really try to do anything to, you know, mess up their relationship. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But just know that he'll never be able to reciprocate your feelings because he's with best girl. Yeah, okay. You know what? No, let me talk about that real quick. Let's not try to fight best girl um, because I really don't want to see that. I don't think that's going to happen. If you want to do that, do that, you know. Magic of recording. <laughs> It's hair, it'll grow back. You look fine. You look cute! Yes, you are! Yeah, we're still wondering where the hell your body is, dude. Like, it could literally be anywhere. I mean, you know, the first place that we looked up was a fucking dud. I mean, you did the test. Because uh... we know he said that once she gets somewhat close to it, he starts vibrating. And that's why he did it as a test last time. Right? That teacher again. Uh, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if you had bangs more a little more, he wouldn't be able to see your eyes and such. Excuse me? <laughs> this is so not happening. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
no, she's fine. Away from you, jackass. I can't! I can't! <laughs> well... Mm -hmm. God, I like this song so much. I just want to know the name of it so bad. I kind of figured it was him. I mean, in a way, like, it, it's her true feelings. You know, but, you know, everyone else is automatically going to think it's her. But why there? Girl, we breaking in. Oh! Maybe. Yeah, it does. And the next thing you know, someone will end up ghosting her or some shit.
Four magazines? <laughs> hmm? No, shut up. Listen to him. Uh, 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 the paper. Yeah. It's awesome. So then what do we do? Take it and just put it right against the scrunchie, and then boom. Yeah, basically give him the put it near the scrunchie. This is gonna be bad. You sure you're not gonna check her or anything? I mean, because we know eventually she's gonna have the white hair and look really pretty with white hair. Snakes. Girl, you gonna wish to have <laughs> I'm gonna be in love with you? No. You can't do that. I knew it. I knew it was gonna come. Oh. Well, shit. I didn't expect him to be there, but yeah. Uh, this is now more complicated than ever. Okay, can we please talk about that scene? Oh my god, this girl. <laughs> Nadika, I mean, I, I loved that. I loved seeing a different side of her. I mean, I didn't think I was going to see that in today's episode, especially with her getting angry and everything. And... <laughs> Talking almost like she is a gang member, like how, um, what's her face from Zombieland Saga, and then, um, Uwo from, uh, yeah, Uwo from Fruits Basket. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know. I mean, especially with the fact that, you know, <laughs> Sue cut her hair and it gave her a completely different personality. And then, especially when her teacher came. And she turned around and he's like, oh, okay, my bad. Like, mm, you know who I think you are. Let me just go find her. And she's like, no, 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 it's me. Like, I was not expecting that. I mean, girl. <laughs> but I don't know. What the hell is going to happen next? I mean, of course, I feel like maybe she's going to try to feed the talisman to the snake. I thought I was going to, of course, try to stop her, but then in the end, it's not going to work. And then she's going to turn in what essentially we saw in episode one of this. <laughs> and they're probably going to have to kill her. Okay, so yeah, I still feel like what they're going to do is essentially what the first maybe, like, was it five, ten minutes? I think it was about, like, five minutes of episode one of Otori Managatsuri. That's going to come back and show up again, where basically um, Agaragi and Shinobu are going to go against this snake version, white-haired version of um, Nadeko Chan. And I mean, you know, he may feel some type of way. But I think because of the fact is there, there's going to be a moment where it's going to be like the same thing with Hanakawa, where she's going to finally say how she truly feels about him. And he's finally going to say, I can't reciprocate those feelings because why? I already have a girlfriend. 
she like we've already had Hanekawa. It's essentially now her turn to be like, let me go ahead and tell this guy how I feel. Even though, yes, yeah, she already knows that he has a girlfriend, but I still think because of the fact is it's like she knows, but then she's like, I'm fine with it, but I still want to try, but I'm not going to essentially try. It's just going to be like, let me, let me say what I feel just to let it out. But let me, you know, not try to do anything that's going to come in between these two people who, yes, are truly in love. Because I don't think anybody else is real. No one else is really going to try this. I think once she officially says, I I'm in love with you, and then he breaks her heart, but she's still going to precipitate those feelings and still be in love with him no matter what. I don't think we're never going to get to a point where another character or maybe an old character or a new character who essentially will be the main focus after this one will essentially come up to Agaragi and say, hey, I love you. Now, I feel like if, um, oh my God, what, what the fuck is her? Uh, the one who starts with the K, the one with the blue hair. If she's the next one, which I feel like she is, I'm not 100% sure, but if she is, uh, well, I mean, she's already said her feelings to freaking Sanjohara, so I don't think they're going to do like another moment where she's like, let me tell Sanjohara about how I really feel because we are at like, I, even when I saw her for the first time, especially like her, I think it's Kanabu, um, between Kanabu and Sanjohara, like, I felt like there was something not only, but the fact is like, yes, they're very good friends and stuff, and then the shit that we were, um, being told during her art i felt like yeah there was a romantic thing and i think they went on it i mean it's been a while since i've seen her episodes it was like way long ago but still but i don't know i mean i'm just wondering how the hell this last episode is really gonna wrap one through three together and essentially they're still going to show that part that we saw in episode one but we ain't gonna know but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys for the final episode okay Final episode in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Give it to the scrunchie. No. Ah, but soon it, it's gonna be too late, babe. Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, just go ahead and tell her. Because, I mean, in the way you are wasting time. Questions. Mm. 
no. You're on your own. Yeah, think for yourself instead of having him think for you. Mm-hmm. What's she going to do? Like, pull the damn scrunchie off and then eventually, like, hit the talisman. Mm. Boom. <laughs> Can we talk about how eerie this song is? Because, girl, I mean, the, it, it is that type of song that is very cutesy, but, you know, <laughs> the cutesiest music can have a message behind it. Oh, Kobe. My puppy. So cute. He's just laying there. Oh, my God. Puppy. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Um, it, it's too late. No, just seen him. Well, there we go. Oh. Well, they literally say, love does hurt. Mm. But we all know he's going to be okay. Oh, you shit. Damn. Yeah, there we go. Finally. There we go. Like, thank God. That's what I wanted.
It's a good comparison. I mean, even though she's crazy now, she still look pretty with that hair. I'm just saying, even though it's still snakes. Mm. But still, she looks pretty. I still love her, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Girl, now where are you going? Yeah. So October? Oh, oh no, September. Oh. I'm just trying to separate them no matter what. <laughs> Probably even more. That's pretty. That much. See, I had a feeling she was going to come back. Bitch, I mean, 
But seriously, you just sit here and tell her everything. See, but the thing is, we never saw that shit, and then it's like, oh, okay, here, we're gonna show it now. <laughs> okay. So then the question is, how are they gonna get the god out of her body? Are they gonna have to do, like, another fucking action put on her? Jesus Christ, goddamn. Makes sense. So can't you just grant her wish by herself? I mean, still, it's just to use him, but... God, it's so pretty. My God. I'm sorry. It's, she's so pretty with this damn hair. I can't. Ugh. Even though it's snakes. Like, oh my God. She's gonna stab you again, Jesus. But don't you want him alive? I mean, you love him, right? Girl, like, ooh. Okay. And that will give you closure. Mm -hmm. Something else is going to happen. 
Mm, true. Seriously? <gasps> Girl, finally, where the hell you been? <laughs> It wouldn't be able to, like, she wouldn't get closure if she just killed bus girl. She has to kill the man that she loves. So, kill Sheena Boo first and then I'll kill it, okay? Go ahead, girl. Hey, they gotta die sometimes. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. or a year yeah at least let them graduate before you kill them Snakes are laughing, oh my god. So basically this series is gonna he gonna die no matter what. <laughs> I'm probably wrong about that, but if this show ends with him dying, <laughs> bruh. Bye. Okay, so, bruh, I mean, for, I mean, can I call this an ending? I mean, it feels, it kind of feels like an ending, but then it kind of feels like something, kind of really a to be continued that, you know, because of the fact is she struck a deal with Best Girl and the fact is they're going to have to wait over half of a year until she can officially kill all three of these people. Well, two vampires and a human. But, I, I mean, I said it once, I'll say it again, she looks so fucking gorgeous with that hair. E even though I, I wouldn't even consider it hair. Just snakes! On it. And such, but uh, she looks really pretty though. And even though she's a god now, I mean, I don't know how to feel about that, dude. Like, holy shit. But um, now it makes me wonder like, if, if it's gonna take at least half a year, and so I'm guessing it's gonna be like the last season because technically we're on season two right now. 
So when we get to that last season, that's when it's gonna come to the, <laughs> to shine, and then eventually she's just gonna be out. It's gonna rain, and she's gonna be there all in her <laughs> all in white, and she's like, you know, hey, it's finally graduation. It's time for you to die. But I mean, I, it just feels like to me. Did she get closure in this? A little bit of yes, a little bit of no, because of the fact is she has to wait half a year to finally get that closure. But, oh. What? Uh, there would be a time skip. With a trailer. Y'all serious? Okay, it's burning. Uh huh. Of course. Girl. Sanjata. Oh, she cut her hair. Okay. Oh, huh. Girl, why would she wear those two? Neither yeah, do. Holy <laughs> How long do I have to wait until I get to that? So then, no, the girl with the, who was, like, um, her body's there, like, hanging, that's not, that's not the, that's not what's her face, the, the black hair girl, that's not Johanna. Yeah, 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 that makes the most sense. Because I was assuming that the other, the chick who told her, oh, hey, yeah, I have a snake. <coughs> oh, wait, what, hold on, go back, go back, wait, wait, she know what time? What the fuck? Um, okay, here we go. Only one I got today. Okay. So I think, yeah, I think that's the next one I gotta watch next, because I think from what the list that I have and where I'm downloading the shows, because I've already, I've literally, I've downloaded everything from all the way to this to Hana. So yeah, only should be the next one that I'll be watching. But I mean, I really enjoyed this one. I think from each and every ones that I've seen, I think between this one and then um, Hanekawa's Closure. Those are possibly my two favorites. And then if this next one is supposedly to be nothing but Shinobu, of course, because everybody knows I like love the crap out of Shinobu, I think I'm really going to enjoy this one. But like, t just showing that trailer. I see, I feel like this. This is one of two things. But like, whenever, if that comes, and that's probably not going to come at the last season, I can't wait to see it. But I feel like they're trolling me. And this is the only reason why I'm going to say this. Okay. There was an episode in Fire Force. I don't remember what episode it was. It was like, because we're like on episode. Probably running like episode 14 as of right now for the show. And um, there was a point where like Arthur was going somewhere. And I think everybody who is not currently reading this manga was sitting here wondering, okay, what the freak is going on? Like, is Arthur going to be a bad guy and stuff? And then I think, like, two, three weeks later, after, like, I continuously kept talking about it, somebody finally told me, 
oh hey that's just a little joke that's not gonna happen like but honestly with this i felt like with that trailer that's truly going to happen but it ain't gonna happen until a long time from now i mean you know th that's gonna be next year like for well really for them for me it's still gonna be next year as well because depending on where it is in this damn series don't freaking know but i mean damn other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode three and four of a Tony Monogatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matcha Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next <clears throat> Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes one and two of Oni Monogatari. Bye, guys.